Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add motion blur on CupCut PC. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up CupCut PC and then create your new project and add the assets or videos that you want to use. So for this example, we have this a video of women uh, dancing on a video. So the next thing that you want to do here is actually just uh, split uh, the video into small clips. So we'll be dividing this video. So go to the center and just divide or split the video. Go to the center again and do that. Do the same. And I'm just doing this uh, very by segment so that we could have the proper animation or blur effect on the video so once you got all of these clips here this is gonna be our future reference uh when we are doing the editing later on so just highlight all of these videos and just paste it again here on your timeline and from here you want to actually uh, add the blur effect so first go to the top left corner of the screen you'll see the effect section here go to nightclub Scroll down a bit until you see the blur effect here and just add it to your track. Just extend the blur effect to, uh, from the first, from the beginning and um, up until to the end. And here you want to adjust the blur and range. So the blur should be around 50 to 60, but you could increase this more if you like. But I think 60 will look great. And then the range, uh, set this to zero. And from here, you want to highlight all of the clips that we copied and the blur effect and just right click on it and choose the create compound clip. Now and choose the compound clip, then go to adjustments, scroll down a bit and go to your brightness section here and set this to negative 10. You could actually increase this to another level could also increase the highlight shadows uh it depends on your uh taste on, on how your video how you want the video to look like but here this is just a basic uh adjustment down now next uh, is you want to go to video and then you want to locate opacity so now i mentioned before that we are going to use this as references uh for adding our keyframes uh this is going to be it so make sure you choose the compound clip that we created then here you want to go to the middle of this make sure you've selected a compound clip go to the middle of this clip and add a key keyframe and here at the end add a keyframe and here in the middle again add a keyframe do this for all segments on your video once you've added all of the keyframes we're now going to adjust the keyframes so go to your first keyframe uh you could do that by going to the very first uh line of your clip or the start of your clip and from here you'll be able to see the keyframe add keyframe button you can see actually an arrow or next keyframe button there just click on it and you should be uh redirected to the actual keyframe here so for middle keyframes you, you want to adjust your opacity to zero then the next keyframe this is the keyframe that's actually in between of the two clips that you have just make sure that you retain this to a 100 percent opacity and then go to the next and adjust the opacity again to zero and go to the next it is an alternating uh, update so zero 100 percent zero 100 percent so do that for all of the clips once you've adjusted all of the keyframes this is how it should look like so there's like an alternating motion blur on your clip and actually it would actually look better if you have uh different clips like for example different angle on this clip different angle on this clip and different angle that is the best uh, usage for this effect but yeah Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.